Hey friends, it's Mrs. Murphy and it's time for reading. Today I have a new book for you. This book is called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. The author is Kate Mesner and the illustrator is Christopher Silas Neal. This book is an informational text. That means you're going to learn about things. The illustrator of this book chose to use drawings instead of real pictures. Even though they're drawings, the information is still real. It's just a different way of showing it. Now, whenever we read an informational text, it can be good to make predictions. Like, what do you think you're going to learn about? Look at the picture. Think of the title, up in the garden, down in the dirt. I think we might learn about what happens in a garden, both above ground and below ground. Let's read and find out. And mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there? I ask. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rusty armfuls, and wheel away weeds for chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. The text in this book keeps switching between two different places. What are those two places? The text is switching back and forth between the garden and down in the dirt. What place do you think we're going to learn about next? Well, on this page, we're learning about up in the garden. So I think we're going to learn about the dirt next. Let's read and find out. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly poly round. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in careful rows. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings, in the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl, honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt in sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep, I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. Whee! I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep, roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider still walks over the streams. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids, Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato, warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. So where did the girl in Nana's green beans and tomatoes come from? You're right, they came from the garden that they planted by themselves. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers. I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the knife chipped. They snuggle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Up in the garden, a prey mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids. I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh, but... Snap! Someone else is faster! Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool, pumpkins blush orange, and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too. 
Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. What are the girl and Nana doing now? You're right, they're harvesting the vegetables they planted before winter comes. Up in the garden, Frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, earthworms curl tight in the dark. When grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter. But the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts, under the bare arms of trees in the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. If you like this story, don't forget to like and subscribe.